Hello, everybody, and welcome inside OH Report World Headquarters in Mansfield, Ohio. I am Travis Big League Berardi, and this is Hayden String Bean Gray. He finally got a nickname, so we're going <laughs> to let you all know it right there, String Bean. Welcome back to the show, and welcome to another edition of the Boys Statistical Leaders Scoring, Rebounding, Assists. And I know you're so excited to get into it, so let's just get right into the thick of things. And first, with our scoring leaders, and once again, as expected, Isaac Mason has taken over, and he is leading 30.5 points per game. He's still above that 30-point-per-game average through 15 games, but Luke Denbo right there behind him. Yeah, Denbo sneaking up. We've been seeing that gap close down a bit, and Luke Denbo has a chance now with a little bit more of that offense having to go through him with the injury to Luke Jerkovich for Ashland. So only down, you know, 2.8-some points there. Um, so he's got to have an opportunity to get himself up to that scoring title. And a guy I want to highlight is um, Willard's Max Dawson. He's been getting it done, and now he's shot all the way up to number three on our list. He's averaging 20.7 points a game for the Crimson Flashes. We've seen him a couple times this year on the OH Report, and he's just really explosive. He can shoot it from the perimeter, but also has a dribble drive game. So he's been getting it done for the Flashes. And below him, Shelby's Alex Bruscotter, just a sophomore, almost 20 points a game. And then Maurice Ware. He's kind of moved back up a little bit of up and down movement for him from Mansfield Senior at 19.3. Then you have McKinnon Mead from Centerburg. They continue to roll as the top at the KMAC. Then you got two players from Colonel Crawford, Carter Valentine, Mason Suter, both over 17 and a half points per game. And in between them, Drew Dossie from Worcester. That rounds out your top 10 scorers here in North Central Ohio. And let's move on now to the rebounding leaders. And once again, at the top, Isaac Mason, but he got surpassed by Micah McKee this past week. 11.7 rebounds per game for Micah, 10.5 for Isaac. Yeah, so the triple crown no longer seems as much of a guarantee for Isaac Mason falling to second behind Worcester's Micah McKee, as you just said. So he's getting it done with 11.7 boards per game. We highlighted him last week. Um, we have Mo- Mohawks' A.J. Hess with 10.1, Jedediah Brandon from Mapleton with 9.2, and I'm going to jump down to Luke Jurchevic from Ashland. Nine boards a game, and why I'm highlighting him this week is those are nine big rebounds a game that they're going to be missing out on. Injured, I believe, one of the ligaments in his leg, his knee area, a few games ago, and it doesn't look like he's going to be returning this season, so that is a big loss for the Ashland Arrows, so we'll see how they're able to you know, continue on without him As the OCC competition continues to ramp up, it's going to be difficult without having him, but they do have Luke Denbo, so we can never count them out. You have George Vick at 6, number 7, Aiden McDougal Dougal from Buckeye Central, Hagen Allen from South Central at 8, 9, Kate Carpenter, and number 10, Max Lauer at 8.6. So once again this week, you have to be over 8.5 rebounds per game just to break the top 10. Finally, we now head to the assist leaders in the area. And they are led once again by Luke Denbo. So Denbo now has the chance at the Triple Crown coming up here. Uh, Isaac Mason all the way down in fifth. But, you know, you have Denbo, Mason Studer from Colonel Crawford, and Bryce Hannum, the top three. Yeah, Denbo now making his case for the Triple Crown, so we'll see if he's able to continue to move up on the rebounding side of the ball as he. this is the second category he leads. Then, like we've talked about, another repeater on this list, Mason Studer from Colonel Crawford with almost six a game, Bryce Hannum from Mohawk with 5.7, and Drew Dossie with 5.1. And I'll jump down, and I would like to give you know a, a little look into Corbin Toms from the Lucas Cubs. They've been putting together quite the successful season, and while he's not at the top of the list, he's been – Averaging nearly four assists per game. Those Toms brothers um, really getting it done for the uh, Lucas Cubs. And, you know, he's one of those guys that can get it done offensively, too. He can score, but he has a good idea of where to put that ball into his teammates' hands and get that done. So, yeah, he's down at ninth. Zach Schaefer of Upper Sandusky. He breaks the top ten with 3.8 assists per game. He had Colin Grandy also at Mapleton in number eight. Seven, Blake Morrison. Sam Seidel from South Central at 6. And then you have Mason, Dossie, Hannum, Studer, and Denbo rounding out the top 10. But that'll do it for this edition of the boys. Statistical updates. We're almost home to the end of the season, but a couple more weeks. We'll see if anything moves. But for now, that's Hayden. I'm Travis, and we out.